Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today, in this video, we are going to take up another very, very interesting question from quartic equations. I will be solving this question in two ways. So let me write here method number one. In this method, I will multiply our equation by two both sides. So I can write our equation 24 times 2 is 48. So 48 x power 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 x cube. 10 times 2 is 20. So minus 20 x square minus 2 x plus 2 equal to 0 times 2, 0. Now we are going to factor 48 and factorization of 20 will be there. So I can write here 48 as 3 times 16. So we will write 3 times 16 can be written as 2 power 4. X power 4. 8 is in exponent form. We can write 2 cube. X cube. Minus 20 is 4 times 5 or 5 times 4. So we will write 5 times 4. 4 can be written as 2 square. Then we have X square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Now I can use exponent law and we can write 3 times 2x whole power 4. Here we can write 2x whole cube. Here we can write minus 5 times 2x whole square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Now we will assume 2x is equal to suppose u. So I can write our equation in variable u. It would be 3u power 4 plus u cube minus 5u square minus u plus 2 equal to 0. Now we will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. If I will plug in u equal to 1, will it satisfy our equation? Let us check 3 plus 1 minus 5 minus 1 plus 2. So this is plus 6 minus 6. Yes, u equal to 1 is satisfying our equation. We will say u equal to 1 is our base solution to this quartic equation. Now we will use synthetic division method. So I need to write all the coefficients of quartic equation. Coefficients are 3, 1, minus 5, minus 1, 2. And base solution is u equal to 1. So we will write here SDM coefficients of quartic equation in u. If I will write 3, 1, negative 5, negative 1 and 2 with base solution u equal to 1. Now we will retain first coefficient as it is 3. Now we have to multiply 1 with 3. So 1 times 3 is 3 we will write here. Addition of these two will give us 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Addition of these two will give us negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Addition of these two numbers will give us minus 2. 2 times minus 2 is minus 2. Once we will add these two, we will get 0. Now these are coefficients for cubic equation in U. We can write cubic as 3U cube plus 4U square minus U minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can use rational root theorem. We can write here eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2. Leading coefficient is 1. So we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 3. If I will plug in u equal to 1, will it satisfy again? No. u equal to minus 1. Let me check. We will write here minus 3 plus 4 plus 1 minus 2. Yes, it is 
satisfying our equation we will write here equal to 0 with our base solution u equal to negative 1 again we can use synthetic division method as we know our second base solution u equal to negative 1 so we have to write all the coefficients of cubic equation we will write 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 put one line over there leading coefficient 3 would be as it is now we are going to repeat the same practice we will multiply our base solution with leading coefficient 3 minus 1 times 3 minus 3 addition of these two will give us 1 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 addition of these two will give us minus 2 minus 1 times minus 2 plus 2 addition of these two will give us 0 so these are coefficients for quadratic equation in u 3u square plus u minus 2 equal to 0 so far our solutions are u equal to 1 u equal to minus 1 let's solve this quadratic first so we will write 3u square plus u minus 2 equal to 0 now i will split plus u the middle term will write 3u minus 2u then we have minus 2 equal to 0 3u is common from first two terms we will get u plus 1 in the bracket minus 2 is common from last two terms we will be getting the same bracket u plus 1 equal to 0 now our factors are u plus 1 times 3u minus 2 equal to 0 and then we can write either u plus 1 equal to 0 or 3u minus 2 equal to 0. So from here we will be getting u equal to negative 1, u equal to 2 over 3. Now I will be writing over all solutions. So u equal to 1, our first base solution, u equal to minus 1, second base solution for cubic. And then the remaining 2, minus 1 and 2 over 3. Now u was our substitution, 2x was u. So I will write here 2x equal to 1, minus 1, minus 1, 2 over 3. Now we will divide by 2 both sides divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 and divided by 2. So from LHS we will cancel 2 and 2. So we are about to get our final answers x equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 with multiplicity 2 or we can write again minus 1 over 2 and then 2 and 2 will be over we will write 1 over 3. We have overall four real solutions 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, and 1 by 3. This is our method number 1. Now we will consider our method number 2. Here I will check our equation at x equal to 0, whether it is satisfying or not. So 0 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 1. So LHS is 1, RHS is 0, which is not true. So we can write x cannot be equal to 0. Now I will give substitution y is equal to 1 over x or x equal to 1 over y. Where x cannot be 0 and y cannot be 0. So I can write our equation 24 over y power 4 plus 4 over y cube minus 10 over y square minus 1 over y plus 1 equal to 0. Now y cannot be equal to 0. So I can multiply both sides by y power 4. And I will get equation 24 plus 4y minus 10y square minus y cube plus 
y power 4 equal to 0 or I can write y power 4 minus y cube minus 10y square plus 4y plus 24 equal to 0. Let me write our equation here. Now I will find eligible factors of 24. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, plus minus 8, plus minus 12, plus minus 24. And leading coefficient is 1. So we will write only plus minus 1. Now we will take ratio of constant to leading coefficient factors. I will plug in y equal to 1. Will it satisfy our equation? Let's check. 1 minus 1 minus 10 plus 4 plus 24. No, it is not. If I will plug in y equal to minus 1. So we will write 1 plus 1 minus 10 minus 4 plus 24. Again, it is not satisfying. If I will plug in y equal to 2. So, we will be writing 2 power 4, 16, minus 8, minus 40, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 24. So, minus 48, plus 48. Yes, this time it is satisfying our equation. We will write y equal to 2 will be our base solution. Now, we can use synthetic division method and we can write all the coefficients of quartic equation. So, coefficient of y power 4, 1, then we will write minus 1, minus 10, 4, 24. We will put one line over there. Leading coefficient 1 would be as it is 2 times 1. We are going to multiply and write 2 here. Addition of minus 1 and 2 will give us plus 1. Again, we will multiply base solution 2 with this 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Addition of these two will be minus 8. 2 times minus 8 is minus 16. We will get minus 12 addition. 2 times minus 12 is minus 24. Once we will add these two, we will get 0. So these are coefficients for cubic equation. I will write cubic as y cube plus y square minus 8y minus 12 equal to 0. Let me write equation here. y cube plus y square minus 8y minus 12 equal to 0. Again, we can check 1 minus 1, 2. If I will plug in y equal to minus 2, so we will get minus 8. Then we will write minus 2 whole square is plus 4. Minus 8 times minus 2 plus 16 minus 12. So plus 20 minus 20. y equal to minus 2 is satisfying our cubic equation. So this would be base solution to this cubic equation. Now I will write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So I can write 1 coefficient of y cube, coefficient of y square again 1, coefficient of y minus 8, constant is minus 12. We will consider leading coefficient 1 as it is. We are going to multiply these two numbers. Minus 2 times 1, minus 2. Addition of 1 and minus 2 will give us minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. Once we will add these two, we will get minus 6. Minus 2 times minus 6 plus 12. Addition of these two will give us 0. So these are coefficients for quadratic equation in y y square minus y minus 6 equal to 0 which we can factorize easily y plus 2 times y minus 3 equal to 0. So from here we will be getting y equal to minus 2 y equal to 3. So I can write here y equal to our first base solution was 2 second was minus 2 third is minus 2, fourth is 3. 
now our substitution was x is equal to 1 over y so in place of y we can write x so x would be equal to 1 over y we will write reciprocal of 2 1 over 2 reciprocal of minus 2 minus 1 over 2 reciprocal of minus 2 again minus 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 so here we have four real solutions as we have done in method one also i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye